What's going on everyone? That guy right here and I wanted to do a video about getting raid ready inside of Destiny 2. With the new raid coming with the Witch Queen in just over a week from the recording of this video, I think there's some things that maybe new players may not know that will be really helpful in getting you raid ready and getting your light level up to where you need to be to be competitive in the new raid. So for new players, I think one of the things that can be the most daunting is you want to experience the raid, you want to be able to jump in, it, it, you know, maybe you're not going for worlds first, but when the raid drops, you want to at least be able to attempt it. And I think one of the things that even for myself, a player that's been playing this game for many, many years, I think sometimes I can find myself a little bit daunted by the idea of what exactly you're supposed to do when it comes to getting ready for the raid or or really any sort of, you know, in-game content within Destiny 2. You know, I get a lot of questions in the streams, you know, twitch.tv slash that guy, right? Of where, what am I supposed to do? How do I level up? How do I get my power to where I need it to be for the, the high-end activities, whether it be, you know, harder nightfalls, whether it be the raid and, I think I wanted to make a video in order to help people out who you know aren't familiar with that stuff and make it just as simple as possible. So obviously we'll start out. Number one thing that you wanna do when starting, if you haven't already done it, is do the story. So I'm still working on the story for one of my characters right now, but you know, you wanna do the story first. And if you can, if you have the skills and you have the resistance and, and the resilience to be able to do so, I would say the first thing that you wanna do is try to do the legendary. The legendary is going to give you higher quality gear it's going to give you a higher light level it may be more challenging but the end result and what you're going to get at the end of it is going to be far more valuable than what you would get doing the normal and it's not to say that the normal is bad it's just going to require a little bit of grinding on the back end if you want to be able to get some of these things so obviously like i said doing the main mission doing all the missions that you can to get some of this higher quality gear like i said do the legendary the legendary is is what you want to do so like i said number one thing that you want to do is do the legendary mode at the end of this i believe your power level is going to be over 1500 i think 1520 i believe if i'm not mistaken is what you're going to get at the end of completing the campaign and so like i said while it may be a little bit more challenging on the front end doing this is going to be far better for you in terms of completing some of the other activities and getting the the power level that you want so after you do the legendary campaign you will officially have reached the soft cap and what should you open up for you is nodes to get powerful gear for the vanguard gambit and crucible so obviously you'll go into the vanguard and you'll see you know nightfalls will give you an opportunity to get uh some powerful gear uh and as well as the pve playlist the playlist typically if you do three uh strikes you will get access to powerful gear drop uh i believe this is powerful level one so it's not a relatively large bump but it is going to help you and anything that can help you get your power level up is going to be worth it but i think in terms of doing this in sequence you definitely want to do the level one powerfuls first so like i said doing three of these doing three gambits and doing three crucible of the weekly crucible match will get you the you know which so doing three crucible matches like let's say control will give you a powerful level one upgrade as well and so like i said you typically want to do these three first because you want to maximize your overall gains and additionally when you're in the crucible playlist everybody talks about it i'm sure you've heard it a million times doing survival survival is one of the greatest ways one of the best most efficient ways to level up your character as i think every rank that you get gives you powerful gear so it's what a lot of people spend their time in early on when they're leveling up is doing a lot of comp and doing a lot of this uh survival playlist and hopes that you know they'll get some powerful gear a lot of powerful gear drops from this playlist so it's definitely worth your time but in addition in addition obviously you, you want to do whatever level one powerful level ones that you can find but in addition when we're talking about these three playlists vanguard gambit and crucible each of these has a vanguard or an individual that you can go to in the tower and get even more powerful so obviously with the vanguard you go to zavala and you'll get your you do eight bounties while you're doing the playlist and you're kind of double dipping right you're getting the playlist done the three you know strikes or three gambit matches three crucible matches you're getting those done and while you're doing that you're focusing on the bounties once you get eight bounties done you'll get another powerful tier one gear and the same thing goes for the drifter and the same thing goes for when you're back here where is he yeah you're talking to shacks 
and you're doing eight bounties in the crucible and you're getting another one so that's kind of usually what i do is when i start and i'm trying to get powerful gear i would do those three things first right i'll do the the three strikes you know the three gambit matches and the three crucible matches and while i'm doing each of those three i will be focusing on the bounties and by the time i get to finishing the third ma match of all three of those i will hopefully have completed all eight of my bounties necessary so you're getting two powerful gears and hopefully they're in different slots that's the idea and and you're getting powerful gear there another way to get powerful gear is if you are associated with a clan your clans out there in the world they're doing things they're getting you xp uh you're doing things you're getting xp and by doing those you will get tier two powerful gear once you get your clan xp up to 100 percent by the end of the week which is really good so ideally you want to pick this up after you've completed all of your tier one stuff so it's really about doing these things in order to maximize your overall gains obviously you don't want to pick up the tier two before you've done the tier Tier one because the tier two is going to be a bigger boost so after you pick up the tier ones that's going to ideally increase your your blight level and then you do your tier two and that will increase your power level even more so obviously that's usually what i'll do i'll do the first three and then i'll go and pick up my clan bounty if that's available and yeah i kind of just usually just work from there and like I said, doing the comp playlist is great. And obviously you can make it more complicated if you want. Uh, you could do uh, stuff in Europa if you haven't. Uh, I think there's a tier one down here that you can do for getting stasis stuff. I believe that this is still available. Um, and that's really, that's really it. They used to have this as well. Uh, I don't know if this isn't available because I'm not finished with the story, but this used to be available as well. You do the, the Bray uh, simulation survival mission every week. And I think that gave you a pretty decent amount of... Uh, gave you a pretty decent power level boost as well but then obviously you can go into the raids whether it be deep stone crypt if you have a team or perhaps you go into the vault of glass or something like that each encounter from there leading up to the final encounter will give you a piece of uh, powerful gear so obviously like i said you want to complete the story and then you go in and try to do a raid if you can uh, or if you have a team to do so or you can try to do some of the dungeons the dungeons are easier i think for me because you don't need as many people if you can just find two other people to do the dungeon with they're pretty easy to where you don't even really need the team communicating uh, i i think most of them are are pretty easy enough to where as long as everybody knows what they they need to do and have done it before it's pretty it's pretty easy you can kind of just kind of sleep your way through it i think but that that'll give you some powerful gear as well so as a recap right doing the crucible gambit and vanguard three matches of each will give you a powerful tier one then during that go to the tower before you even go to those and you want to go to zavala you want to go to shax you want to go to the drifter and pick up eight bounties just grab as many bounties as you can you should be able to grab eight and then try to focus those focus on completing those while you're doing each of those playlists so that'll give you tier one as well at the end of all that right assuming you're in a clan you should be able to pick up your clan reward xp this will give you a tier two and then once you're done with that you go into your dungeons you go into your raids if you have people to do those things with and you can complete those things as well and i believe there's opportunities here in sabathun's throne world to be able to get some powerful gear as well once you're done with the story so really all in all there's a lot of great ways for you to gain powerful gear in destiny 2 if you're looking to get into the raid this is definitely the approach that i would take i'm sure i'm missing maybe one or two things um but i think for a general gist for a new player without overwhelming anyone i think this is a pretty standard base of things that you can do focus on the tier ones and then move on to see if there's any tier twos that you can do tier threes and try to do them from your if you have multiple characters i can't believe i forgot to mention this if you have multiple characters starting on tuesday right you want to do your your least favorite character first let's say it's your titan do your titan first try to do all of those things that i just mentioned then swap your your highest level arm your weapon to your second character whether let's say it's your hunter and then you saw you swap your highest weapons to your hunter so now your hunter is going to get an even bigger boost from doing those things and then you rinse and repeat you do the same thing sliding your newest highest weapons to your warlock or your, whatever your first character is if you have all three and then do those obviously if you only have one character forget everything i said you don't need to worry about that but if you have three you want to do your least your second and then your main character last so that your main character has the highest level the whatever character you 
plan to take into the raid so that that character is the most highest leveled up uh and that's really the process that i take i think it's a lot uh, something that a lot of people have done in the past and i think it works so that's really the the best advice that i would offer if you haven't done those things definitely do them whatever you're doing right now this week doesn't really matter you can you know you do your main and then i do my second and then i do my third for the story and then starting on tuesday i'm going to go in reverse and do it backwards so that way my main character for me it's my warlock is going to be the best and most equipped for going into the raid um with the raid i think day one you don't really get much of a power boost i think it's capped so it's i think it's contest mode so everyone's going to be at the same light so don't worry about trying to get the max max light you just want to be high enough to where you can get into the raid and at least try to complete it because it's going to be hard for everyone but that's really all i had to say for that i think like i said i think i'm I might be forgetting something. I apologize if I am. I don't want to overbear you guys with too much information, but I wanted to make something that was a little bit helpful for new players or players that have never attempted the raid that are looking to try it for the first time. And if you need help, with dungeons or um anything like that harder missions maybe you're trying to do the legendary uh, campaign and you need some assistance stop by my twitch twitch.tv slash that guy rye or join our discord as we have a destiny discord we have a destiny section for destiny lfg for anyone that is looking for help or anything like that but like i said twitch.tv slash that guy rye if you want any help streams i'm looking to do some help i would love to have you become a part of our community and i'm doing some help streams so looking to help some people get through some of this harder content so that people can experience the raid as i believe that to be the best content that destiny has to offer but until then guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video found it helpful drop a like on this video as it really helps get it out there to more people that it might help as well and uh yeah until then i hope you're safe i hope you're doing well and i'll see you in the next video cheers